Greetings gastronauts, this is Keith Cooks, I'm Keith and today I'm going to show you how to make black pudding. And if you're a vegetarian you might want to not watch this one. And the main ingredient is pig's blood. Now I've not actually made this until a couple of weeks ago because you know you go to the supermarket and you look for pig's blood but they'd never have it, isn't that strange? Uh, <laughs> The reason being, first of all, it's disgusting, and secondly, it's illegal to sell uh, liquid blood. But I found dried pig's blood online, so I got some. Black pudding, things like it exist in many, many cuisines around the world. You have your boudin noir in France, you have morcia in Spain, um, all kinds of things. And they're all surprisingly wonderful, considering what they're made of. So possibly a bit messy, but the results are wonderful, so let's do it. Okay, ingredients for the black pudding I've got, or I will have, half a litre of pig's blood, um, 200 grams of oats, 300 grams of pork fat, two small onions, or one large one, and three teaspoons of my black pudding seasoning. So just to explain, the blood, as I said, you can't get fresh pig's blood, but the dried stuff you need to dissolve in uh, one part blood, to six or seven parts water. So I'm gonna make half a litre of blood. So I'm, I'm using 75 grams of the powdered blood and uh, well, about half a litre of water, cold water. Oats, I've seen recipes that say pre-cook them. That's a load of tosh, I tried that, didn't work. Uh, I've just had them soaking in cold water for half an hour and that'll be fine. And uh, also some people put barley in their black pudding. I've tried that as well didn't like it. <laughs> anyway, um, the fat, it's best if you can get a block of pork back fat, but I couldn't. So what I've got here is trimmings from some pretty fatty pork chops, or you could use belly pork as well. It's got to be a hard fat so it doesn't melt into the black pudding. Uh, one of the characteristics of black pudding is these flecks of white stuff. The seasoning mix that you use it is entirely up to you but um, I like this one. Two parts salt, two parts white pepper, one part sage, one part mace, one part allspice, and one part celery salt. Anyway, we need to do some prep. We've got to chop this fat into very small cubes and cut the onions as finely as you can. Everything's prepped. I've mixed up the blood. I've drained the oats, and I'm just gonna pop those in. And finely chopped onion and pork fat and the, re the reason you chop it this fine is so that it'll go through a funnel if you're making the sausage version. I'm mainly going to be doing a sort of tray baked version which is a bit more traditional I think it's what the artisan butchers and stuff do but I'll also make some little sausages to show you how you go about that and we just mix all that together don't forget the seasoning, three teaspoons. And you wanna preheat your oven to 150 degrees Celsius if it's a fan oven, or 170 if it isn't. I've got a oven proof dish and I'm just gonna pour in most of the mixture. Now I'm gonna cover this with foil so we don't get a crunchy top because we don't want that. Um, so I've just um, lightly oiled one side of this bit of foil and I'll just wrap it around. The container. Now we're going to cook the black pudding in a bain marie. So I've got a bigger container. I'll put the black pudding in there and some hot water. Actually, I'll I'll top that up when it's in the oven. And um, we pop that in the oven for about an hour and then check on it. Now I'm going to make up those sausages. I'm going to cook these in my sous vide machine because you need a constant temperature of 77 degrees Celsius. You could probably manage more or less that with uh, an ordinary saucepan with water in it. Um, but you know, this is obviously the perfect thing. So I've got that, I've got the black pudding mixture, um, I've got a funnel and I've got some sausage casing. This is collagen casing. Now you frequently get commercial black pudding it's made in actually what are inedible plastic casings that are about seven centimeters, about three inches diameter, big and chunky. You also see smaller ones, sausage sized ones, so that's what I'm doing. So I'm gonna 
start off by tying a knot in one end and then stick the funnel in the other end and kind of feed the casing up a bit like you're stuffing a, a regular sausage. I've probably got a lot more casing than I need here, but anyway. And then spoon in the mixture. And this, this is why you need to chop your bits small so they'll go down. doesn't want to go down. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to get a skewer and just poke it in. Okay, it's all in, so I'm going to tie off the other end, leaving quite a lot of space. And then I'm going to divide this into two smaller sausages. So I'll just spread it out and fold it in half, lift it up, and that's the centre point, so we'll just... Oh. Well, that was fun. <laughs> so, I'll put all the filling back in. I'm going to divide it in two by tying it off with some string. And, you know, try and leave it, leave some air in there for, or space in there for expansion. Because we don't want burst sausages. I've had that before. It's not good. And then tie off another little bit right beside it, right beside the first knot, and cut between them. And then, well, get rid of the string and tie off the casing itself. Here's me two sausages, and they need to go in the water bath for at least half an hour. Um, I've done this before, and I put them directly in the water, and one of them burst. There was blood everywhere. What a mess. Anyway, so I'm taking no chances. I'm putting them in a Ziploc bag. And if we do get a burst, it will be contained. Ho oh, hum. <laughs> the things I do for you lot, eh? Right. In the water bath, half an hour. We've had an hour, so let's um, have a look at it. See what we've got. Ah, ow. That's hot. <laughs> um... Yeah, if it was done, it would be a lot firmer than that. So I think I'll, I'll give it another 15 minutes and then we'll try it again. Okay, let's uh, check the sous vide sausages. Again, that's, that doesn't seem firm enough, so I'll give it another 15 minutes as well. Right, the black puddings have cooled right down because it is in fact the next day. Uh, so it's firmed up real nicely. Let's get a chunk out and have a look. Well, this is <laughs> surprisingly red. Not quite sure why that is. But looks nice. Nice chunks of fat running through it. So you could actually eat that now, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to fry that quite quickly on both sides and have it with me breakfast. And there's the sausage. That same kind of thing. Chunks of white fat in it and nice rich blood. Okay. Breakfast time. Oh yeah, that is something a bit special. I think I might have liked it a little bit drier and crumblier, but for a third attempt, not bad. And that's that, hope you enjoyed it. Now please share it with all your friends on social media. Subscribe to this channel, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and don't forget the amazing website that has all the details of all the recipes. And thank you for watching, come back soon.